Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. Today's another user request. Naveen Reddy asked, can you please make a detailed video on performance recorder and how to interpret and understand the different events that are affecting the workbook? This is not going to be a detailed video, but it's going to be more of an overview and just get you familiar with what's there. The performance recorder is a feature that is built into Tableau that you may not be aware of. So we have a dashboard. Actually, we're going to come to dashboard one. And under help, go into setting and performance. And there's an option at the bottom here called start performance recording. If you keep focused, it's more helpful than if you try to do a lot of different things. I'll show you what I mean. So we're on this dashboard. I'm going to make a couple of uh, changes to the filters and maybe even do this chart selector, change that, and get rid of this. So I've done a couple different, played with a couple different features on the dashboard. Come up to Help Menu, Settings and Performance, and select Stop Performance Recording. What it's going to do is it's going to take a second, but it's going to pull up a separate Tableau dashboard. Okay, so I cut out some of that. It took a little, a couple seconds to pull it up. And what you have here is you have a performance recording dashboard that Tab Tableau puts out. You've got two or three sections. You've got the performance summary and then you've got the detailed views. And we'll take a look at that. Up here will give you a timeline of how the different events, the workbook, different dashboards, the worksheets, and the event and how long those events take. And if you hover over them, you can see elapsed time is 0 0.0984 seconds. So you can tell that it's not taking very long. Start time, this is so you can, this is a little bit confusing because if you run the uh, performance recorder after you've made a couple different changes, this start time always changes because it's, you know, the time. The other thing about this that you need to be aware of is that when I've run this multiple times trying to test out a particular feature, the actual times don't all, aren't always consistent. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter, and that can be very frustrating when you're trying to isolate where the problem is. Scroll through here, and you can see all these different events, and I'm going to show you another way that I've started looking at that. The next section here is the items that take the longest. You can see the different colors here. Executing query, rendering, um, compiling query is another big one. The geocoding, I don't do a lot of geocoding, so I haven't seen a lot of that. But you can start to get a feel for how long each of those take. In this case, you know, the longest one we're showing is 0.22 seconds. This isn't going to be particularly helpful, in my opinion unless you've got a dashboard that is taking you know 10 20 30 plus seconds to to work on that to pull up and so then you'll be able to identify a couple areas here is the rendering although in this case if you highlight over go over it this doesn't have any worksheet identified as the rendering so that's another thing that's a little bit frustrating i've gone online and looked for some things I haven't found a reason why the rendering is for a null dashboard is taking time. So let's say if you have a query, executing query, select that and it pulls up the query that you have. For this, and let me show you something here. For this dashboard, that's the one we were looking at, the worksheet is tree map. All right, and so you can see all the things that they've got listed in here in tree map. Now, if I go back, Go to tree map. In this case, we'd already turned it off, but look, this is, it doesn't have that much here. And so that can be a little bit confusing when you look at the query and you see all these items. What does that tell you? Where should I, uh, what should I do to, to fix that? I, I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, the next thing that I have started looking at is this timeline. You, you see there's, they're all over the place. What I've started to do is take the start index 
and I move it over in front of the workbook. And now you can kind of see a timeline of when these events are starting to happen. And you can start to see right here that looks like the tree map is taking the longest amount of time. Well, it's still only 0.2 seconds. That's not bad. Uh, the ones that I have looked at and focused in on is if you come to the performance summary and you see computing layout. Let's come here, computing layout. For the timeline tooltip, that's taking 0.02 seconds. The Pareto computing layout. Sometimes it is a, a couple seconds long. And all the research that I've done on this performance recorder is one of the first things that they always tell you to do is reduce the fields, uh, reduce the number of marks that are being pulled up. And that's actually one of the biggest things that I've got. I've got a scatter plot that's got thousands of data points, which is a grind on the, the resources. Why do I have that? Because the client wants it. I know. So those are the ways that you uh, can work with the performance recorder. And the reason why I say just focus on one or two actions, because there's so many actions here, it's hard to tell when something is happening, like when you flip to another dashboard or not. Let me pull you up another performance recorder that I did earlier. This is looking at just the second dashboard I've moved. Well, I didn't move it, but I mean, you've only got a couple items here. You don't have those other nulls. Sometimes I find that it doesn't take as long if you've already loaded it once in a session and then you come back to it, it doesn't take as long. Let's see here what this one is. This is the segment bar chart. That's the one that's taking 0.04 seconds. And it's a little misleading when you see this bar chart here, it's like, oh my gosh, this thing is taking forever. Well, it's 0.04 seconds. In the grand scheme of things, it's not something to worry about. That's why I say, unless your dashboard is taking 10, 20, 30 seconds to load, I wouldn't really worry about the performance recorder. The other thing that I'll mention is that when you go out, actually, I'm going to put in the card a link to Inner Work. They have a performance a PDF that you can download that's really good. And actually, in talking with uh, some of my Tableau customer service person or contact, they actually sent me the PDF. So I think that's a pretty good endorsement. And so I'm going to put that in the card here as well. Sorry, Naveen, that I can't give you more detail. This is how I've used it. If there's anybody, oh, one other thing, if you've got a lot of uh, items, let's see if we can go back. Come back to this one. You've got a lot of items here and you just want to focus on the ones that are most important. You can just use this slider bar to, to filter the range. If you guys have some ideas of how you've used it and how you found it to be successful, please leave it in the comments because when I've gone out and looked, there is not a lot of good information on this. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that video helpful. Hit subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. And check out my other videos to learn even more about Tableau.